The pool being used for this video is the 24 foot by 12 foot by 48 inch oval frame pool. Your pool may differ slightly in the number of parts involved in the assembly depending upon size. Check that you have all the parts as listed in your manual. Do not start assembly if parts are missing. Call Intex Consumer Service for replacement parts. It is important to set up your pool on a completely level surface to keep the water balanced. Leave at least six feet of clear area on all sides of the pool to accommodate the side supports. If the ground is loose soil or sand, foot pads may be necessary to spread the load on the side braces. Make sure the selected location is within reach by your garden hose and a GFCI type electrical outlet because the pool should never be moved with water in it. Do not put the pool right against your house. Envision the traffic patterns around the pool and see where you can place the filter pump without people tripping over the electric cord. Some communities require fenced enclosures. Check with your city for local requirements. To set up your oval frame pool, you will need petroleum jelly and an air pump such as these from Intex. Before unrolling the pool, clear the area thoroughly of any object that would puncture the pool when it is in use. Ground cloths can also provide additional protection and should be carefully spread out to cover the area. Now you are ready to set up the pool. Unroll the pool liner on top of the ground cloth, making sure it is right side up. Do not drag the pool across the ground, since that may result in leaks. Locate the filter connecting holes. Make sure they are facing the area where you will put the pump. Double check to be sure that a GFCI type electrical outlet is within reach by the power cord. Allow the sun to warm the liner for easier beam insertion. Separate the beams by letter designation, A, B, C, etc. Be sure the liner is fully opened and spread out to the fullest extent on top of the ground cloth. Starting with one long side, slide an A beam, white ring first, into the sleeve opening located in the corner. Continue with a B beam snapping into the A beam. It will be easier if another person holds the sleeve open as the beams are pushed into the sleeve. The assembly diagram in your instruction manual indicates the number of B beams required for your pool. Finish the side with a C beam. Keep the metal beam aligned with the white sleeve holes. Slide the beams into the other side in the same pattern. Before inserting the large U-shaped side supports into the frame, slide the restrainer straps onto them as shown. Keep the pool liner frame flat on the ground to make insertion of the supports easier. Squeeze the bottom buttons of the double button spring clips, insert the support ends into the beam holes, and release to secure the top buttons inside the beam. Repeat this procedure for all the supports. Next, insert the connecting rods into the overlapping loops of the restrainer straps and the short liner straps. Pull the bottoms of the side supports away from the liner to stretch the straps tight. Flip the inflatable top ring out to pull it outside the wall line of the pool. Inflate it with an air pump. Allow some room for daytime expansion in the sun. Do not use high pressure air. Ask your store for an inflatable air pump like these from Intex. Finish the pool assembly by stepping carefully inside the liner to smooth out the wrinkles. Check to make sure the drain valves are closed. The sides of the liner must be pushed outward. Again, make sure the pool is centered on the ground cloth. Consult your local pool supply or home improvement center for advice on suitable pads to put under the supports if your ground is not solid or is covered with asphalt. Finally, recheck the filter connector holes to see if they are still facing the area where you will put the filter pump. Make adjustment if necessary. 
Please set up your filter pump before filling the pool with water. Refer to the menu options to select the appropriate filter pump assembly video.